Alright, it is Frozen Swipe here, and I am back, and I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded, like, this past week. Uh, I really am sorry about that. But, um, there were a few things that kind of went wrong, or that kind of distracted me from, you know, playing this game, and, you know, making commentaries and shit like that. Uh, the biggest of all that being, you know, a couple weeks ago, it kind of broke out in my school that, you know, I made these videos. Somehow, some assholes in my school found out about it. They put them on, they put uh, one of my videos on uh, this overhead projector that we have connected to a laptop, which is connected to the internet. So they were playing my videos on this overhead projector uh, for pretty much everyone to see. And now everyone in my year knows about these videos, uh, which pretty much sucks. But um, no one's really said anything to me about them. Which can mean either one of two things. Either uh, no one has the balls to actually tell me what they think about me. Or, well, at least to my face anyway. Or, you know, no one gives a fuck. Frankly, I'm hoping for the second one. Because if it is the first one, I can guarantee that at least one asshole would have seen this video. And will definitely go out of the way, their way to um, call me a fag just for making Call of Duty videos. I'm not exactly sure how I'm affecting these assholes. Or, you know, how this is any of their business. But, you know, it's something I want to do. And... I mean, I'm not harming anyone, so why the fuck can't I do it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna stop just because, you know, you don't think it, you know, you don't like my videos, or you think I'm a faggot for making them, or whatever, but, um, I'm not gonna stop making them, it, you know, but this whole thing was the reason why I stopped posting to my other channel, bigfield 2 10 uh, but, you know, I'm not gonna go anywhere, because, I mean, I can't really justify making another channel. Especially, you know, since I've built it up, I mean, I don't think I could, uh, get all of you subs, uh, to sub to another channel again. I just, I don't, I, it's just not gonna happen, I mean, um, so, yeah, I just wanted to keep a low profile for a couple of days. Um, then what was it, uh, the Thursday before last... Um, we got off school early, so I decided, you know, I'd snipe for a couple of games because I hadn't really uh, tried out the sni I hadn't tried out the snipers before then. And uh, just in case you're wondering, yeah, that collateral at the very start of the game was legit. The very first shot I have fired with the L1 A A1. Yeah, that's it. Um, just in case you're wondering, <laughs> that it, it was legit. My very first shot, I get a collateral. Uh, no, it's lucky, but um, trust me, all luck. But, um, what was this? I was going to say something relatively intelligent to keep this commentary going. Uh, what was the next point I was going to go on to? I've lost my train of thought. This is incredibly embarrassing, and I'm surprisingly, uh, stalling quite well, if I do say so for myself. So, yeah, I, I got a few clips on that day, and, um, didn't think I was going to do anything with them until about Sunday. Sunday night, I saw uh, a few tutorials by this guy, Alex20 Productions. I'll link his channel in the description because he does Sony Vegas tutorials. And um, after watching his videos, I just really wanted to edit something. And, uh, you know, that I went ahead, I edited that Daytage that you guys saw on, what was it, that I uploaded uh, a couple of days ago. And uh, just in case you were wondering, the screen is meant to be blue. Okay, that was the color correction I was going for. Uh, there's nothing wrong with your screen, and there was nothing wrong with it. I was trying to be all artsy and cool, but instead everyone thought that their screen was broken, so... Um, it's meant to be blue, guys, okay? Just, you know, deal with it. Um, what else was there? Yeah, so obviously I was editing that video for a couple of days, so I didn't really get too much chance, uh, too many chances to play, and the fact that I've also had, you know, training and things like that, uh, because I do more than just make up videos, I play, you know, I play sports and shit as well. And um, I haven't really had much time to, you know, get any gameplays together or anything. Um, this is like the first, you know, postable game that I've gotten in a while. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty slow paced, but that's for two reasons. One, I don't really know this map too well because it doesn't really come up in the rotation a lot for me. And the second one would be that, you know, I think it was like halfway through this game, like half the other team rage quits. So, I mean, there's only like three people on the other team and six on our team, you know, there aren't enough noobs to go around, so obviously that's going to dramatically slow the pace of this game down a lot. Um, so, I'm sorry about that, but this is the only, like, postable game I've gotten. I've gotten a lot of, like, decent games, but just nothing that I could justify posting. Um, but the main thing I kind of want to talk about in this game is um, the... S the specialist strike package. Now, obviously, this this strike package is completely unique to Call of Duty in the fact that you don't get air support, uh, but instead you get additional perks. And this is something that we have never had in any Call of Duty previous to this game. And uh, it is definitely something that's you know it's a pretty cool concept if I do say so myself. Uh, so obviously you get your first additional perk at uh, two kills. 
uh, your second one at uh, four kills, third one at six kills, and then if you manage to get an eight kill or eight point streak, um, you get you get all of the perks in the game, you, and you all, I th I'm pretty sure you also get like double XP as well. Uh, so just in case you're wondering, uh, the setup that I've got here, I'm using um, stream, extreme conditioning, hardline, uh, just to make it so that you know everything's like one point sooner. Uh, hardline Pro, I do believe, and steady aim, and um, my, the perks that I have, uh, as you know, set up. Uh, I have like slot of hand, scavenger, I think it is, and blast shield. And then obviously the specialist bonus because you know that's kind of mandatory. I can't re I can't change that. So you know that's on everyone. And uh, because I'm using hardline, that's only at seven at a seven point streak. So that's pretty cool. And um, but one thing that you may not know about the special strike package is that once you get uh, your eight to your eight point streak or seven point streak if you're using hardline, you actually you also get all of the proficiencies in this game as well as all of the attachments. Oh no, sorry, not attack, but as well as all the perks. So, um, I mean, the only two uh, exceptions to this rule, the only two proficiencies that you don't get when you get an 8-point streak or a 7-point streak with, with Hardline, um, I'm just going to leave it at 8-point streak because I'm tired of saying that because it's a huge mouthful. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, the you know, you also get the, uh, no, sorry, the two per proficiencies that you don't get would be uh, two attachments and what was the other one? the damage proficiency that you get for the shotguns. But apart from that, you get all of the other proficiencies, even proficiencies that you can't actually uh, manually equip to your gun. So, I mean, take for example, if you're using an assault rifle, you will also get uh, proficiencies that are uh, exclusive to, say, the submachine gun category, like speed or melee. So, I mean, you really do get all the proficiencies apart from um, two attachments and damage. So, yeah, the gameplay is pretty much wrapped up. Um, I'm sorry if this commentary seems a little subpar, I'm a little under the weather, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed anyway, and trust me, I will not leave it this late to post again. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and this kind of, well, the subpar gameplay and the subpar commentary. As always, this has been Frozen Swipe, and thank you for watching.